is internal and external. And for us to understand the internal importance, sometimes people don't want to reflect internally and they look externally. Everything around us is perishable. Everything around us has been here for a limited time. Maybe 100 years, 200 years, some trees maximum I think 500 years. Only thing that we can see with these physical eyes and understand eternity is the sun. The divine has a tremendous secret in the level of the heart because the first level of Sufi levels of the heart is the qalb and that's represented by the sun. The divine is showing us that, is that I've given you a galaxy as there are I think what now 10 to 11 planets we have 11 major organs and the sun our heart depending upon what we do with our galaxy will determine how we ascend towards the divine galaxy so as we're stargazers and looking out towards the heavens and amazed with that Creation, the divine is showing us that you have that within you as a trust. Then you look to the sun, and the sun is the only thing that we have that is eternal. It has been here from the time of Adam. It has been here from the time of Noah. It is the same sun from the time of the prophet Moses and Abraham and Jesus and Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon them all. It means divine is showing you that everything else perishes but the light. Understand in your creation, your physicality goes, but your life is eternal. And look to the importance of the sun, and we then start to open that reality and that power that the divine is showing us in light. So you look and say, okay, this sun is amazing. It's been here through all the prophets. The same prophets looked at that same sun that I'm looking at today. So divine show you, light is eternal. Seek the light, build the light, nourish the light. Then that sun has many secrets. Because it is the light, it is the source of all nourishment. Because science and spirituality match. When the science is correct and the spirituality is correct, they match. So spirituality and science are telling us that Everything in our existence is based on that sun. Your food, your breath, your sight, your existence is based on the light. If no sun, no breath, no trees, no oxygen. If no sun, I think the photon reacts to the eyes, no sight. If no sun, no nourishment, nothing grows, you don't eat. So divine is showing you that there's a hierarchy. In that hierarchy, because the light is supreme, that makes all the planets circumambulate the light. And before, we used to think that the sun goes around the earth. And all spiritual masters from all backgrounds taught that no, we go around the sun. Because this is the order of the majesty of light. Circumambulate that sun, circumambulate the light, because the light is eternal. It represents the divine for our creation. That we look to that sun and we understand that that is the divine power. There's no way that that sun can be eternal and the divine is showing us, I am the power of its fusion. My power behind that creates that eternal process of fusion and giving us everything that we need. The divine is showing us that that's for the sun external then the sun internal is the same. It means go back, who knows himself will know his Lord. Go back and what you're seeking from people and from places and from things are not going to bring you happiness. That love that you're seeking, that yearning because we represent even love with fire. That fire and love that you're seeking, find it internally. So then all spiritual processes come back and say, come inside, look into your heart, nourish your heart, fill your heart with that divine love so that that spark can take place. And spirituality, once that spark takes place, when we can reach to that divine love, it represents the station of Nabi Musa and Nabi Ibrahim, the prophets Abraham and Moses. 
Let's pray. Alayhi salam, peace and blessings be upon them. Why? Because the bush that Nabi Musa, alayhi salam, Prophet Moses, peace and blessings be upon him, was looking at was symbolic of his love for the Divine. That my heart is completely engulfed with that love and I'm not finding that in anything. I'm not finding in any, in any material product. My Lord, show your presence to me. Open, my heart is burning. <coughs> and then the reflection of the Divine shows that I understand that's the, that is what your heart looks like. So that burning bush is symbolic of the heart of Nabi Musa. Part of Prophet Moses, peace and blessings. Isn't that in spiritual process? Is that we are trying to light that sun? If that sun is lit and nourished and brought to that eternal power, means then you become a star. You've reached to that eternal enlightenment, and that star, that energy, that light will nourish all of our organs. So our holistic approach. It's not so much fixing the different chakras lined up with endocrine system, but we go straight for the heart. So Sufism is the science of the heart. Opening that power and that divine throne upon the heart, bringing that light and that power of the sun. That if we work on all of the other organs and our galaxy has no sun, it doesn't function. The so Divine is saying, look outside and see how this galaxy functions. And the same will happen for ourselves. So Sufism builds the power of the heart and ignites that power of the sun. So then all Sufi healing is based on igniting that power. And just for a short example, that is the power of water. That water holds a tremendous secret for us. Water is the source of all light. Water has within it a hidden fire. That fire is, is able to extinguish difficulties. So it means when we're doing healing and working with people, or even just our work and interaction with our loved ones, we pick up tremendous amounts of burdens and difficulties, what you would call negative energies. And those are taken away by water and washing with water and understanding and embracing water. Once we embrace that water and open that understanding, we find that 70% of our body is water. So even in our remembrance and in our chanting, what heats us up and what gives that energy is the blood, is the water. The purification of that blood, the chanting upon that blood, again, is all from the sequence of water, from the energy and unlocking